Dave Holloway is our, one of our creative directors. Um, he sits in one of the four offices back along the wall that we were looking at earlier. Um, we're kind of stopping by and getting backgrounds and words of wisdom. These guys are uh, with a group called Media Communications Council, um, very involved in the, the creative, um, I guess, industry. I can call you guys industry since you have real clients and really interested in um, creative fields. So we're showing them a little bit about what we do today. Dave, where where do you where do you come from? How'd you get to be creative director, and what what exactly does that mean? So, uh, hopefully, I don't screw up the careers of any of these folks. So, <laughs> Meredith is a designer, John's a designer and art director, and Derek's a writer. So, where did I come from? Philadelphia, still a Phillies fan. Eagles, <laughs> not so much, and still have the accent. But I uh, went to school to become a writer. So. Normally, if you're in the creative department, there is college, but then there's also a two-year finishing school. So I went to the Creative Circus in Atlanta, and all these finishing schools have funny names. You know, they're not named like normal schools. Uh, they all look kind of weird on a sweatshirt. But <laughs> Meredith went to the Creative Circus as well. Derek went to UT, and you were out in San Marcos. So, and uh, so we went to school to put together portfolios, which are nothing more than fake ads. And you decide what products you want to do fake ads for. And uh, basically, that's how you get hired. You know, you could have three heads on your shoulder, but as long as you have a portfolio that that you know impresses whatever agency you're you're looking to work for. So this is for. Yeah, well, Bach Love is a site that we do for Shiner Bach, and we're trying to come up with ideas to refresh it and make it a little better. Um, and I guess the whole site's about sharing photos and videos and pictures of people enjoying Shiner. So uh, that's another thing we're doing, is trying to come up with ideas of how to collect photos on your iPhone, just all kinds of technical things. Some of them, we put down everything, like things that are just ridiculous and probably will never happen, and then things that... Uh, actually are kind of feasible, but at this stage it's just like we throw everything at the wall and try to, we put in little pieces of paper that way when we show it to the, the big guys, the creative directors, they can rip off all the stuff that's just ridiculous. <laughs> we never rip it off. Well, they don't rip it off. <laughs> very nice about it, but uh, this is actually one of the more fun stages of the creative process. So. It's like baseball, you're going to strike out a lot more than you get on base, yeah. you're going to go over the wall and get millions of dollars. <laughs> And, and, and I try to make these guys do little doodles with everything because I think that makes it look a little bit better. <laughs> and little drawings of brands. Bringing ideas to life. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have any questions for these guys about what they're doing or what they do every day? No? Um, Dave was mentioning earlier a finishing school, a portfolio school. Those of you who raised your hands earlier when we, I, we, I asked if you were interested in design, you're interested in design, copywriting, um, art direction, anything like that, those schools are really invaluable to helping you build your portfolio. You guys are lucky not, enough to have already started that, which is amazing. Um, I don't think any of these guys were doing anything like that when they were your age, so um, kudos to you. But um, Definitely something to keep in mind, and when we send over the materials to Carl, we'll send you guys a list of schools that you can kind of keep on your radar. What high school are you from? Lugerville. Okay. Lugerville. Lugerville. All right, Lugerville. so there are a couple magazines you guys should be familiar with. One is Communication Arts. So this is their design annual, but you're in charge of that for your high school. All the post-it notes, I just went back to my office and I... No, I <laughs> no those are the, the ads I was looking at. So that... That comes out probably six times a year. They actually profiled us uh, earlier this year, so that was big. So that'll give you the best of design from last year. This is Archive, that's a German magazine, which means sometimes there's nudity in there. It's kind of cool. And this is a DVD um, that has different folks from New York agencies talking about what they do all day and how they got started in the industry. Very cool. So you yeah, can look at tight. writers and designers and art directors and account people and planners and uh, that'll 
there are a couple from each discipline, so that'll give you guys an idea of, you know, how they got started. Some are, you know, ones from Australia, ones from the Netherlands, uh, plenty are from California, some are from Texas, some are from New York, so you'll get a good idea of, you know, a different range of, you know, folks and how they're doing what they're doing. Awesome. Thank we'll, you. Yeah, we'll still send some more stuff for you guys to look at. That's That'll awesome. keep you out of trouble. And that's actually a great piece of advice. You know, Brian was saying earlier, uh, like stay on top of technologies and get to know them really well. Stay on top of this stuff too, what's going on in the industry, uh, what people are doing creatively. You never know how it's going to inspire you and it'll definitely, definitely keep you kind of up to speed on what's going on. And these magazines are they're subscription based and they're, they're pretty pricey, but every, pretty much every library has them and, and you can go down to any of the bookstores and just sit down and read them when they come out because uh, they're, this, this is the, the best stuff in the world in these publications. Yeah, I, uh, before I had the money to s subscribe, what I would do is I'd just go to you know, a place like Book People and I'd just sit Indian style and read it for an hour and you know, they never once kicked me out, pulling me by the ear. So. <laughs> You know, uh, they're also online if you go to Communication Arts or I think it's comarts.com or uh, Archive has a website and usually what they do is they update them every day with some of the best ads that are, are just breaking. So you'll be able to get a lot of the benefit out of the magazine without subscribing and paying the 50 or 60 bucks a year. Cool. All right. Thank you very much.